you were supposed to change the name on your oh <laughs> can they see can they see my name <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think it's uh, too old now or too late now. We're old. just gonna. <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh, cheers, cheers to that. Yep. Cheers. On that note. Huh? Oh, Wait. fantastic. Sorry, oh. we were getting some a message from the studio. <laughs> Hold on. Um. Yes, Houston. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. We're trained professionals. All right. So Five, four, hot. three, two. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the Reading Black Girls Podcast. Ooh. I'm Kayla. I'm Alec. I'm Aziza. And I'm Denisha. And we're the Reading Black Girls. Okay, so today's read, y'all, <laughs> let's be honest. If you haven't heard of this book, where have you been? Where have you been? Because this has been on everybody's and feed, on the stories, in the bookstores, on the streets, in the billboards. Okay. Yep. And you know it's what it is? It's down. oh it's and it's a YA. Yeah. It's a YA. It's Big shocker. But it's a romance. Can you guess which one it is? <laughs> 75 years later. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Highly suspicious and unfairly cute by Miss Talia Halbert. The people's champ. The girlies love her. Okay. The people's champ really for real. Hi, she can write a f romance. Okay, Enjoyed and she's just book. showed us clearly she can do a YA one too. Like now that's range, correct? Facts. <sighs> yeah, I loved it. And I'm also sitting here thinking about like some of her other characters, and I'm like, I miss them. So that's Heidi, the thing, Miss the Brown Sisters. Y'all have all I'm read some of her other books, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. I have one more to go, but anything by Talia Hilbert, I trust. I'm gonna automatically go pick it up now. <laughs> in a, in a I haven't read any of her other um, books like Get a Clue, go, uh, Chloe Brown, none of those, but they are on my little long, long, long TR, mm -hmm. TBR. If you're just like in a silly, goofy mood and want to read a silly, goofy book with some sex, please pick up one of her books. <laughs> like, I had Real a quick. good time reading that. I had a good time. Like, first few seconds i was like yep i'm in this so we love you talia you're Aww, phenomenal i'm glad yeah. you liked it mm -hmm. i Thank really you, was Alex, like i was like that wreck. it could get a bit silly but like but i don't know good. she writes like silly like characters but it's like meaningful everything that mm -hmm. she writes mm -hmm. like has a purpose in her books but it's still funny it's still like comedy it's getting it's scratching that itch and it's still romantic but this book I felt like was really like the comedy, romance, and like its YA ness, its young adultness. It was just so wholesome. I felt so, so wholesome. I felt so pure. Yeah. <laughs> That's a yeah. good word to describe it. it Which I liked yeah. the silliness of this book because there's other silly romances. Like, I'm sorry, it the love hypothesis. Too silly. Love hypothesis too silly. did not eat. That was too much. It was, mm -mm. this, I can do this. Oh, Tell them, Kayla. Unpopular opinion, love hypothesis. Sorry, y'all. Not that girl. Unpopular opinion. I'm sorry. Allie Hazelwood, <laughs> she can do better. And you know what? I do need to go read some more Allie Hazelwood, but as a graduate student, a sci I'm a sci mm -hmm. I'm a PhD. Like, I do the things they were talking about in that book. And I was just like, <laughs> oh, girl. Be for real. She didn't get the <laughs> experts to weigh in. I, no, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Because look, Kayla know, doing. Kayla know about some cells and some proteins and separating mm -hmm. them and putting them on slides and doing little ink stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. She'll she know play. about a PhD program. And she can tell you about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can so tell you about Brian. <laughs> but but let let's, let's tell get into what this book is even. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. About. Okay. Okay. So. so uh, Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute is a super cute YA rom-com about two besties turned enemies, turned back to besties, turned to lovers. 
they're just fabulous so cute friends to like, enemies to yeah. lovers or is it yeah. friends to enemies to friends to lovers friends yes. to enemies to yeah. friends to lovers yeah that's a new one <clears throat> it's quite the journey yeah i feel like you got both like the best of both worlds you got friends to lovers and you got enemies to acquaintances friends like i don't know it, they were enemies at a point and it was yeah. interesting i really enjoyed the <laughs> enemy section of the book that was a good time me too yeah, yeah. <laughs> celine yeah. was so Same. mean <laughs> she, she was really was. celine she was but i loved it i did too I'm i like, love i really i love i like, love like heroines like females i love mean girls as like the main right. characters yeah because it's nice iconic. to these what or yeah. what or what, what? i loved it and honestly for her to be that way in high school like impressive yeah. she owned it very impressive yeah. she owned it's it. like She's support like, I'm women's rights with... and wrongs please <laughs> and wrong <laughs> i love that <laughs> Only right. because her wrongs weren't that bad. They weren't that bad. Yeah. She did piss me yeah. off a little bit towards the end, but for the most part, I was like, no, she's like kind of this like kind of right. spunky, weird, mean girl. She's like, ugh, look at Brad with his stupid face. <laughs> Dumb little blazer being all charismatic. Ugh, can't like stand girl. him. I was like, yeah, me I love her. I can't stand Brad <laughs> either. <laughs> Right. All right. Get this guy out of here. Get him he out of here. <laughs> He's like, I'm she's sorry. like, boo. <laughs> <laughs> she's the only one booing. She's like, right? Yeah. Boo. She's like, boo, and they're yeah, like, that sucks. No. No, he's we very, like him, we love him. <laughs> yeah. But um, I feel like I, there weren't really many triggers. Like, this is a pretty safe book, but Brad does deal with OCD, so mental mm -hmm. illness mm -hmm. panic attack anxiety mm -hmm. yes. trigger okay so trigger warnings mind. it's a warning but other than that i mean like Very i said this was a pretty wholesome wholesome mm -hmm. book it was nice but and i will say i really modern. like the way talia hibbert like all of her characters are neurodiverse so they are they either deal with anxiety or they might be on the autism spectrum or they have OCD. Like there's always something neurodiverse about them. And I just really like her interpretation because it's like, yeah, they're just out here living their best lives every time, living their best <laughs> lives. Um, as as they me, should. Yes. as Because why not? We all just right. have, to have a good time. So yeah, by this yeah. point, if you don't want spoilers... You should go. You should get out of here now. Pull it that way. To the left, to the right, wherever you need to be. Um, Beyonce said, but we cannot be held responsible for any spoilers after this because we warned y'all. But if you want to stick around and you don't care about spoilers like me, keep on listening. So let's get into it. Okay. So first things first. Why? I don't even want to say why. I know y'all like Celine. I know y'all like Brad. But what is it? What made y'all fall in love with them as characters? Or did you fall in love with them as yeah, characters? Yeah, Celine is me. I'm Celine. Up. Me, <laughs> smart, yeah. superior, a woman, a black woman, overachiever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that is you. Yeah. Yeah. Talia wrote that. As for a black her, woman, no. right. She wrote that for, like, you know, girls right now girls who women who've been girls back in the day just like this was i felt like like every black woman's experience in school for sure yes. oh yeah that's a good point i wasn't even thinking yeah that. like we all were like smart we all like had to stand up for ourselves we all had people trying to like bring us down and like talk shit about us and mm -hmm. had to like you know combat that or like you know make a joke back and like hold your tongue or like, I don't know. She just really like was relatable. She just had very. so many experiences mm -hmm. that I felt like we also had. Well, and I love that you know, she was very like yeah. comfortable in like, I guess her image. Cause I yeah. feel like on the yeah, inside, like, she obviously owned it, she was she dealing did. with some other stuff. Yeah. 
but like on the outside what she did just, she show yeah this put together girl but like in her own funky way like she did not care she's like oh you don't like my conspiracies guess what three thousand mm-hmm. or thirty thousand plus other people do on tiktok mm. right you don't I like my makeup it. You don't like okay. my faux freckles. You don't like my blush. Like you're making fun fine. of me. You're making fun of me. You're dumb. Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me. Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. Think are you, dumb. like medically speaking? You're stupid. <laughs> you're dumb. <laughs> oh, she's like, she was quick. so unintelligent. She was very quick, <laughs> and that's Super iconic. Impressive. Yeah, that was iconic. It's like, yes, I stand. Yeah. And then Brad. Brad was like, a sweetie. I, I like he Brad. A I like Brad too. Sweetheart. But you know, like the cliche, like trope, like, you know, one friend glows up and then becomes the popular kid and kind of leaves the other. So that's what it was giving. But you could tell like Brad still cared. Mm -hmm. And when he accidentally pretty much broke her arm, he was like, damn. (laughs) Okay, wait. That part was like funny. He dropped the out of her. He dropped her. He grabbed her first though. (laughs) And then 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 dropped. Like, she was like, and she was like, you broke her. You see why I don't like you. Look at what she's right. done. I she's like, like, you did it on like, purpose. <gasps> but the fact that he felt so bad, As he, he literally was like, oh my God, I think I just ruined her life. <laughs> Loki, Loki, like, though. Loki, yeah. And she was but, in that cast yeah. for what? Month? The whole time. A long time. Pretty yeah. much like the most of the book. Most of the book. Most of them the being in the freaking woods having to camp. Yeah, on that little expedition, yeah. child. That would have been a. That would have been it. it was give, this was giving me very much like church camp. Did y'all go to church camp? <laughs> it, was it was giving, giving me high camp. key church. I know this was, was like an academic thing, but it was yeah. giving very much church camp for me. Sleep away. Because you know, I, like the, the I get the, the church sneaking camp. away. Like you mm. know, they had to like not touch. It was giving very yeah. church camp. Did you go to church <laughs> camp? Yeah, I went oh, to church okay. camp like three or four times. But it was like wow. only for like a couple of days Amen. each, like the little expeditions. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah, like y'all it know at church me. camp you get in trouble of hugging boys and stuff like that. They would be like, ah, keep your body <laughs> no, apart. No touching, especially no when touching. you get older. They're like, they be on. They you. really watch. I'm like, relax, okay. We're but not Selena gonna do anything really... heathenish. <laughs> Selena and Brad were sneaking away when they was they in that were, little like jungle gym. I don't think the little counselors thing. were watching. No, they were. They were not. But, but they're also really smart, like to be sneaky like that, though. <laughs> so I think like it could be. Both. People really be kind of knocking even think and it's be about like, them being outside. smart. I think they were just good at sneaking away. And yeah. I realized because at the end of the book, when Celine was like, "Oh, is Catherine going to offer me like?" the chance to be one of the I was like oh so the little counselors were basically just like seniors in high school it's like that's why they weren't being monitored mm, effectively because you made it, someone I forgot who mentioned it but they did go away what felt like a lot just kind of the two of them yeah especially when they yeah. did the little <laughs> fort type uh-huh. thing that, whatever yeah. that was that was nice <laughs> that was so romantic that was so sweet. honestly their little rule hate each other friendship acquaintances and then finally realizing that they actually like love each other i (laughs) the whole time i was just like oh this is so cute like it is just so cute this is such a cute story but they got really like deep and i think it's only because they did have that past like we grew up together yeah Mm -hmm. i've known you since we were literally in the womb basically like moms are best friends moms are besties i was thinking of us i was like that's gonna be our Loki, like (laughs) gonna know each other from the womb yeah and i love that i just always felt like i felt like brad wasn't fully committed to the enemies part because he kind of felt like never invited to an extent (laughs) yeah because he he didn't (laughs) want like he didn't even he want them to it. stop being friends initially right. because Celine yeah. hadn't communicated to him why they yeah. stopped being mm-hmm. friends which when she eventually did I was like that makes a lot of sense and if you had maybe said mm-hmm. something Correct. perhaps Could've he wouldn't have lost have right all this condition. time but he did but... tell her to stop being fucking weird in front of people <laughs> and that <laughs> is problematic but, and that's um, I felt that she was valid in her response. Yeah, she was. She said, "You don't accept for me for me. That's not gonna work." 
which is impressive for right. what she was like a freshman or something in high mm-hmm. school mm-hmm. to have that integrity yeah. and like yeah. that strength to be like okay i don't care that my best friend is moving, embarrassing like, me and moving on i'm yeah. gonna be myself and she was able to turn that into a very successful tiktok career with you know her little conspiracy theories and whatnot so that was interesting that was to me yeah she was an icon being a conspiracy theorist like tiktoker in high school i can't even imagine like, what she that was would really... be like uh, yeah like uh, that would be like shit. us having the same amount of followers right now but in high school like that's crazy can't imagine yeah. that i can't imagine having that. to record content after <laughs> a long day of trigonometry are you kidding Homework me and this gag no. but she was just such a good like arguer like she was mm-hmm. literally queen like miss speech and debate like she really was like let me think of something and let me just turn the camera on and let me just talk my shit real quick she said i need to share this with the world baby Y'all right, need right. to know the and the fact that is real. Brad, Brad was a stan. Brad was like, "Oh shoot, she up. She just uploaded this on my FYP. Like, she had oh shoot, she got all these notifications people. turned on for sure. Yeah, she sure. Had her, yeah, she they were had, just. He had her notifications turned on. Period. They were just so, so cute. cute. Like they really still supported each mm-hmm. other. Like that. Like you said, that history, that past friendship that they had wasn't lost on them. So. Brad, you know, obviously he watched all of Celine's little conspiracy theory talks, but also Celine, like when they eventually kind of started being friends again, she remembered some of the issues he would have like with his OCD. And so like, I always remember when she punched him and then she would punch him on the other side. So he would feel evened Mm -hmm. out. And he was like, he's like, oh, I actually don't really need that anymore because I'm in therapy (laughs) now. She's like, oh, gross. My bad. Yeah, it was just, (laughs) I just really liked the way that even though they had fallen out, they still respected each other's like boundaries and like the things they were going through. Like Brad knew how Celine felt about her dad and was like, Ooh, your dad is on like the panel for this. Like, how do you feel about that? That you might run into him. And she's like, I don't care. Even though we know she's Uh obsessed with spiting him with her, um, Success, success which i'm all for vengeance mm-hmm. like i love when a character is vengeful but this like was really consuming her and it didn't seem to be serving her in the way she thought it would yeah right so. i'm glad that her sister eventually like started poking around and asking her questions mm-hmm. and yeah. then she was like no honey like that's not okay like you really shouldn't be wanting that for yourself like you shouldn't want all of this for him just to spite him because Loki right, yeah. f- him so no not Loki Heike f- him so it's like <laughs> it is what it is and yeah. he was really like please tell our mom like please tell mom like this is everything yeah. that she could really help you with and like that's that whole YA aspect of it like mm-hmm. you know she's kind of make you know why she's making the decisions but you're still like I hope it turns around but I'm glad like by the end she was able to talk to her mom and her mom was so understanding she was just like that's why he acts like that like Mm -hmm. we don't even worry about him he's just feels guilty as he should and we just gonna let him feel guilty and you don't have to do anything outside of yourself to make him feel worse about himself Mm -hmm. because he already feels bad about himself yeah even with just like let it go and even with brad like going and eventually telling his parents that or specifically his dad like hey i don't want to study law and his dad was like Sorry, like, that was a shock, but, you know, it wasn't fair for me to react like that. Like, I don't want you to think that you can't live your life. So I really Mm -hmm. appreciated this aspect of, like, children trusting their parents and Mm -hmm. that trust paying off. Like, the parent being like, I understand why you feel like that. You shouldn't have to. Like, this is how we're going to work it out or fix it so i i like that that they actually had you know so progressive a positive relationship and yeah Yeah. like kudos to them dad Mm -hmm. wasn't mad he was like you know what that that was my reaction and Mm -hmm. that wasn't fair to you so it was helpful and brad was like oh you know what yeah what was my dad gonna do like (laughs) throw me out of the house like no he just (laughs) it was interesting so i was glad that that paid off for them because so, so often it's like you know what like just tell them just tell like you want the character to yeah. say mm-hmm. something yeah. and when they did it it worked out in their favor so I was like phew like that was a close one the only time that 
I was like, damn, I wish they would hurry up and say something to each other. It's when Brad and Celine were not communicating that yeah. they both liked each other. Right. Well, but hold then, on. But I like well, one thing I just wanted. I just really like how Talia like did such a great job of just communicating the anxiety of being afraid to live in your <clears> home, <throat> you know? Um, I think yeah. we all like had anxiety, just like telling friends and family about like how we truly feel about a lot of things and you know, what life direction we want to go in. Cause you never want to disappoint your parents. Right. And so I just, I just really, really enjoyed that because I'm like, this is a teenage Kayla has felt this exact same way. And I know exact like, you know, yeah. I, I'm excited for YA in recent times because there's, there's so much black YA out there. Mm -hmm. And I think the yeah. authors are doing a great job of really like showing different experiences so that the kids can relate to these books, you know? Mm -hmm. Facts. And speaking of the way Talia portrayed, like the way she portrayed anxiety, I thought was also really good because it's like you know that the thoughts you're having are illogical. You know that like it's the worst mm -hmm. case scenario. It's probably not going to happen but you cannot help the way your brain chemistry works and that these are the thoughts that come to your mind. So even though Brad struggled a lot with that, I enjoyed watching his progression. Like he would try to keep himself grounded and he would use the strategies his therapist gave mm -hmm. him and like mm -hmm. really try to work through some of the issues he was having. So I just really enjoyed reading that. Just kudos, Talia. It was just so just, yeah. well done. She, she has incorporated this whole like anxiety thing in her like adult romances before mm -hmm. and like she take she took the same amount of care if not more care of that topic like in her YA like I don't know I just it's so progressive you're right literally these new YAs are just having these experiences and they're just so positive about it and like it's really gonna show kids like in that age group like oh mm -hmm. my gosh like this I is feel normal. this exact same yes. way let me go mm -hmm. talk to my mother really quick please I love that because yeah back in the day R Y A it was just like secret fantasy mm -hmm. with secret information yeah. secret <laughs> secret <laughs> telling don't your tell best anyone. friend the friend giving you bad advice like because they don't know what they're doing that's either right. that's right. what we grew up on. Advice. And then it's it blowing so up. <laughs> the vampires. Yeah. The blowing up in your face. And the parent being like, why didn't you just tell me? Tell. So it was very nice uh, seeing this. Like, this was yeah. a change. Yeah, so but there was still right. communication with mm -hmm. friends. Like, you know, yes. still trusting your friends and still being, like, having secrets. And actually, that was the other thing. I really liked Brad and Celine's, like, their best friends. I liked their relationships oh, yeah. with their yeah. friends too because they were like their friends were just down for a good time but also calling them out. They're like, you like them, don't right. you? Yes. And they were calling yeah. straight They're from like friends. jump. They were right. like, you're in love with them? Stop front. And they're like, no, are you crazy? Da, da, da. And they're like, okay. Like, okay. <laughs> like, we're not lying. Right. Sure. I did have my cap going on right now. We see the way that y'all be looking at each other. When you don't think the other person is looking, like, come on, the right. way y'all. And then they talk to, each, they talk other. to each other. Like, they're yeah. like, "Well, their best friend's acting weird, so I thought I would talk to them because <laughs> why are y'all acting weird at the same time? Like, come on now." It was just. It was. It was, it was just, just such a well done. That from book. long ago, they were mm -hmm. literally like, "Celine, stop playing. You've been hating on him since freshman year for what? Like, literally all this why? misplaced anger. I don't know ways. why." That's a good point because I would have been thought. I'm like, girl, you love that man because why? You, yeah, why you hate him so? Bad? Why you hate him so hard? <laughs> if there's one hater in the world, she, Celine was like, it's me. I'm that hater. <laughs> yeah, if he has no more haters. I'm dead. Like, yeah, that was Celine. <laughs> literally. She like, ate why? that up though. She was. She owned she that. Did. Like, yeah. I respect her big time for that. She was, she was really like, yeah, I could give dedicated. To hating on that man she was like we are yeah. arch nemesis I love and it's it. never gonna yeah. change I and he'd be it like did. she's the most beautiful girl in the world <laughs> <laughs> and then he'd be like oh wait no why am i thinking that about celine i'm like give it up you love her too like yeah. come on so that was eventually I it say, morphing into that i was so surprised when he actually admitted that he liked her when she came over. <laughs> I was like, oh, we're doing this right now. I yeah. said, like, okay, no. all right. He just blurted it. it out. I love. it. I mean, she really came over to the crib. Like, yeah. he was 
really dead ass just talking about her and he was like uh-huh. well she's here now and here comes I, the brother I might as well dad brad's having sex like, like it's just celine god that grow up made me <laughs> she was like okay am i not desirable <laughs> yeah so then like talking it out a little bit and then them going back and forth you know deciding how they wanted their non-relationship mm-hmm. yet relationship to work like being make out so brad being like you know what i'll take what i can get from her and mm-hmm. celine like struggling with okay these are my feelings for you but i don't yep. want to get hurt mm-hmm. and that's the only part that made me mad like especially towards the end is celine was doing such a good job you know trying to acknowledge her feelings and really grow and because Brad was like, you're avoidant. Like, you're always running away from your feelings. Right. And yeah. she was working to acknowledge he them. He her up with that, though. And did every time. <laughs> and then the one time that it actually got hard and she had the chance to, you know, really acknowledge her feelings, she ran away and mm-hmm. then, like, put that hurt on him. I did not like that. No. I did not like that. I was like, Celine, you can't live your life in fear, girl. Yeah, tell the truth, babe. Yeah. It'll set you free. Yeah. Even if you get hurt, you know, it's out there on yeah. the table. But it, it was, it had her having to realize yeah. like a culmination of all of her decisions, like that she wasn't going to hide from that anymore. So like it kind of mm-hmm. all had to build per mm-hmm. a YA situation ever is like, it just has to build and get to the certain point enough for you to be like, you know what? I'm not about to live like that. I'm about to own it. I'm about to apologize and I'm about to learn from my mistakes and keep pushing. But the minute that she did that, it was just like smooth sailing from here on out. Like I felt like she accepted everything better. Like, yeah, she wasn't picked. That's fine. And she was fine with it. She wasn't heartbroken about it. But Brad, like winning everything and getting what he kind of didn't even know that he wanted till the last second. Like, but he really yeah. got it though. And I was proud of him. So I loved that. I and I loved that too. like he went into this literally not even wanting to do that little program. He said, I'm just going yeah. to sling going. I don't want to sit in the car. Right. Yeah. He's like, this sounds kind of mm-hmm. good. He said, but wait a minute. <laughs> if I do this and I win, I can have my own room and then I won't have to deal with a nasty roommate. And right. he acting a fool. And the fact that he, that was just so good. He didn't even know. He was like me. He said, huh? Right. He was, he was clapping for someone else. Like, <laughs> like where, where <laughs> are they? Oh that my God, that's my name. Uh, oh shit. Yeah, that was nice. So I'm glad that's Brad sweet. won. Mm-hmm. I was a little sad that Celine didn't. A little. But then, yeah. you know, Catherine Breakspear ended up offering her an internship with her personally instead. And so I was like, well, that's a fantastic opportunity. She can mm-hmm. be closer to Catherine, learn a lot, but she still has to pay for school. So that's the only part I was like, "Yeah, mm-hmm. okay, like I, this was I, an I old to see that. that. But... but I think it could have added to like her resume. Like I feel Correct. like it'll definitely help yeah. her get somewhere, but I definitely agree. Like her still having to figure out how to pay for school eventually didn't like that. Well, here's the thing. We're just going to hope and pray <laughs> that, that her high marks, her extracurriculars, being all of that, yeah. Catherine, will help <laughs> slide in yeah. there. She going she to yeah. finesse. I have faith that she was going to finesse. Yeah. That's She'll make good. some shake. She too smart That's not some to. Some grant, some, some and, British, and you know, well, yeah. I don't know. Some some education isn't as politics. expensive over there. So it's not like she's going to leave with like 100,000, mm-hmm. 200,000 uh pounds because they the and pounds. she wanted to go to <laughs> oxford right oxford or cambridge mm-hmm. i thought it was cambridge cambridge, oxford or cambridge. 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 and yeah. then he was going brad it was planning to go to a like smaller school that yeah was she was oxford or cambridge though yeah but now well, now I, yeah now, the now, I do what I want. now i do what i want <laughs> No, but yeah, I mean, I no. overall, <laughs> overall, I think my favorite part of this entire book obviously was them finally admitting that they like each other, but also when homeboy fell, I screamed. Girl, him so falling I down that hill, screamed, and his thoughts. But did y'all right like after? that whole like <laughs> that whole argument discussion? Like he was really like, I'm gonna go to Celine right now because I can't do it any other time, and I'm gonna tell her what is up. Tell he her that so, I'm in love with her. He tell her so everything. Ready. He was like, he was so gun ho about it. Do it right now. Right now. She literally comes her. out the bathroom. 
I would have been overwhelmed. <laughs> Celine like, was like, let me break up with him before he can break my heart. Like I was like, don't yeah. do it. I said, don't do it, Celine. And then she did. And, he- and she was like, why does he look like that? Like heartbroken how I feel right now. Well, because girl, girl. you just broke up with him. I was yes. like, did you not see from his body language? I said, Celine, does it look really? like he was going to break up with you? Like she really let Read her thoughts, those intrusive thoughts yeah. just Correct. take over. Take mm-hmm. over. And she ran with it. I, she made me so mad and when she done. did that. And then he fell down the hill after <laughs> and him oh. falling down the <laughs> Imagine getting broken up with and then, and then the hill. And getting a concussion. And you already know that man has OCD. Like, at, not, no, not like, but no for real. Twitter OCD. Like, he is actually diagnosed and, Correct. like, is very particular about Send how he carries germs, him. the dirt. He was distressed. Okay. And I felt that. I was I like, oh, God, this is terrible. And then just think, like, for real, for real. High school, your emotions are on 10 yes. all ten. day. Yeah. Like, please understand, <laughs> that was the worst moment of his life. And I yeah. felt that. I was like, oh, my God, this is so That's embarrassing so and so bad. And this Let's is literally the end. And I feel like that's what I really enjoyed while I was reading this. Like, I was like, oh these emotions like just the intensity of everything yeah. everything Accurate. is literally the end of the world and i was like mm, yeah i feel that yeah. but that like, one was teenage me end of Would've the been, world literally his like, inner yeah. monologue they girl, were so, yeah. so good. good funny so, so good that was the These other characters. part i enjoyed about this book it was funny it was Very. a lot it funnier funny. than I was anticipating. I this laughed was legit several times. A rom com. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I felt like this could literally. This was just as funny, if not funnier, than like what was the Netflix adaptation to all the boys and yes, like all I the, the other. I think it was funnier this could than be that. Adapted. I, yeah. yeah. This, oh yeah. This was yeah. Good. Absolutely. This, this as good. a movie would be really good. Yeah. It'd be so yeah, relatable. It'd be fun. And I want the British fun. girl. I want the funny. British. I don't mm-hmm. want the Americans. We want yeah, we the want the British, British girls. Yes, yes, and boys. Well, mm, casting. Just I yeah, wonder just, who, uh, who would be cast. Selena's a thick cast. Bitch, okay, that's what I know, about. and that's what I was. Remember, do y'all remember? Do y'all remember when she was hiding? And I was like, that was such like a real thought. Like she was like, I cannot. She fit said, I can't fit under that bed. bed. She said, I can't. Yes. Fit under and that. I that moment, to something else out. I said, oh, she's and literally Brad coming up and said, come for on. her, and then like, come said, on, get out, like, get out the window, get out, go through the window. I said I'm gonna she push like, you through. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll bring you back though. He really got her back through that window. And though. did he did? Because like, I'm a whole, I'm he gonna did. make sure that she good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know who I cute. would. Who would we cast? Because I'm only thinking of adults, so yeah. I don't know. I don't enough. really even know like know British either. actresses that much. We need to brush Big up on like too, our young, younger actresses and actors. Because I'm sitting here like, hmm, don't know. I just know that they would have to be super adorable. Mm-hmm. Correct. Yeah, and just the cutest with their British accents. You know who might actually be? Yeah. I don't. I mean, Michaela. It's Michaela Cole, right? That Kayla. That is exactly mm-hmm. who I was thinking. Great to be like. But I was like, she's not like director. Big enough. But she, director. this could be her star. I think it, because she's really good at comedy, awkward comedy. There was so many awkward moments that were funny as hell yeah. in here. And she's yeah. I think she would do okay. a good job like directing, show running this. Oh yeah, I think yeah. she would be phenomenal. I. I love that. If by the way, if y'all have not seen Michaela Cole in her show Chewing Gum, which I think <laughs> is on like Hulu or Netflix, very good show. Yeah. Also, her other show, which is very different, um, May mm-hmm. I Destroy You? Or I May Destroy You. I May you. Destroy You. That one was also mm-hmm. very good. Heavy topics, but she's phenomenal. I would love to see her as the director of yeah. this adaptation. Oh, yeah. I'm she sure they would find happen. somebody. That would be super successful. This British mm-hmm. humor with like yeah yes. ya rom-com would eat i love it mm. all right yeah. ratings let's bring it in here yeah. let's get right. be real be real be real easy Five. what y'all think 4.5 z i, I gave, gave it a 4.5 4. 4. yeah i gave it 4.5 okay same 
Yeah. You gave it five, Kayla? I gave it five just because, like, so y'all know, it was taking me a minute to get into it. Like, Mm -hmm. I only got through those first 30 pages. But once I was in it, I was cackling, a key king, listening, reading all the time. And it was just, it was a, it's not to say, like, the books I'm reading haven't been, like, that good. But it's been, I feel like this year, I don't know, the books were mostly, like, four stars. And this is, like, Mm -hmm. one of the first ones where I was just, like, immediately just love you love. liked it yeah and this is also my first talia halbert book too so enjoy <laughs> okay it. yeah well you just wait <laughs> oh you will when you get you into should some read more her brown sisters for real the brown sisters yeah. that's that's on my tbr i think you'll, oh, yeah, you'll really like her. it you'll really yeah. like them because yeah. talia hibbert just does such a good job like developing her characters like it's not no surface level shit. yeah never like really she really brings you she in. i'm just like thinking about like all her planning i'm like does she have a board dedicated to each character because the way she, she writing their background like their little yeah. quirks like she thinks about everything and it's very thoughtful like you can tell because it comes mm-hmm. across the page like that like it's not like oh yeah he was da-da-da. no like she really had to do some research that's such a good word to describe her writing style it's extremely thoughtful mm-hmm. like and it's i had a good but then so funny. time reading her books <laughs> but then so funny so silly right? so ha-ha funny. <laughs> Facts. i loved it go off talia okay talia Girl, i'm ready for your next book give it right. to us it don't matter what it is <laughs> i know it's gonna be good yeah, we'll be like, i'm it. just so happy she found so much success with this mm-hmm. like yeah. literally mm-hmm. y'all saw this book everywhere everywhere highly suspicious and and unfairly unfairly and i love that title it was highly suspicious and it was also unfairly cute it was such a good book (laughs) yeah that's accurate excellent so if you haven't read it but you was rocking with us this whole entire time we obviously suggest that you go back and read this because you'd have a good time it's just a good like you just feel good yeah so that's that stay tuned for another episode of the reading black girls podcast thanks for being here y'all like comment subscribe let us know your thoughts and we'll see you later bye Bye. Bye.